Good day, collectors and viewers, Social Distance Warrior is back. And today we're going to look at Princess Leia in her Hoth outfit. So Princess Leia, of course, first appeared in Star Wars A New Hope. And we'd have to wait three long years before we'd see the continued adventures from our favorite rebel heroes. And of course, at the beginning of The Empire Strikes Back, our rebels are hiding on a planet Hoth. And they're sporting outfits and attire that's to the conditions of the weather on that planet, which is very cold. So Princess Leia, of course, is one of those uh, depicted in that scene. And she made her debut in Empire Strikes Back in 1980. And then we'd have to wait one year for the 41 back Empire Strikes Back and we got Princess Leia. So that's this figure over here. Now you can see Princess Leia. It's still the same figure that we recognize. It's Leia. There wasn't any other female figures at the time. Uh, she was one of them that you could get pick up in your collection. Uh, she's got her Hoth attire over here. You can see she's got her vest on. Uh, she's got her hair braided differently. One thing that was always great about Princess Leia and Queen Amidala is that they always had different uh, outfits and different hairstyles in many different scenes in the movies. And she is a princess, of course. She's royalty. Uh, you can see that she does have an insignia over here, but they don't really put any detail on that. Of course, it's from the original release, right? Articulation she has on the head. You can turn her head side to side. Uh, we can bring a close-up there just so you can see the figure is a 40-year-old figure, but you can see it stood the test of time. It's got a nice face sculpt. She's got a semi-serious um, expression, semi-smile expression, which is great considering it's a toy. Uh, An articulation, of course, at the arms there. And you can see she has gloves on because the weather's cold. An articulation here, of course, at the legs. And you can see her foot peg there underneath. So that's what she looks like from the front. Okay, we turn her over here around to the side. You can see she's got, you know, a device here on the side of her sleeve. That's what she looks like from the side. Okay, she's got her boots. And then we turn around from the back, and that's what she looks like from the back as well. So you can see the figures stood the test of time for all these years. And if I look back here on the vintage one, you can see the imprint there, Lucasfilm Limited uh, logo, and 1980 on the bottom, as well as made in Hong Kong there at the top. So that's what we get in... 1981 from the Empire Strikes Back. Um, of course, we'd see that figure through the rest of the original trilogy, through the Return of the Jedi with the card backs. And then, of course, Star Wars would go dom dormant. So we wouldn't see another new Princess Leia figure in Hoth outfit until the Power of the Force 2 line. So we'd have to fast forward quite a few years. We'd go all the way to 1998. And this is towards the end of the freeze frame line. And, you know, when the Power of the Force 2 figures first came out, they were bulky. A lot of the figures had misproportions. They were all very muscular. And then as the line progressed, uh, they started to correct it. And they started to correct the scale of the figures. And they started to correct the proportions of the figures. And she was one of those ones that got corrected. But because she came out so late in the line, the Power of the Force 2 freeze frame, she was more difficult to acquire. You initially had to get her online through an online retailer, and it was very difficult to get her up here in Canada, and I had to order her because I needed to have every figure complete, and that's this one over here. And you can see that she's a great sculpt. Consider that she's over 20 years old now. She's 22, 23 years old, sculpt-wise. Uh, she comes with that standard blaster that a lot of the figures came with, that oversized DL-44. So that's Princess Leia. We take that gun out of her hand just so we can look at the figure. Uh, the face sculpt is an update of the one that they had from the original A New Hope version Princess Leia from Power of the Force 2. But they've updated her with the proper hairstyle. So you can see there's a lot more detail now than was on the figures when they were in the original release because technology has gotten a lot better. Uh, she's got a vest on, which is really neat. So the vest is on top of the outfit that she's wearing. So it gives it a nice, you know, depth, uh, 3D look. To the character makes it a lot more realistic she's got articulation of course at the arms uh, at the head we can turn the head side to side okay uh at the waist so you can turn her side to side at the waist which was a norm thing for the power of the force two figures and of course at the legs you can lift the legs up and you can see the boots are painted a different color nicely there as well this one does have a real different slant on the legs the legs are kind of slanted which is interesting kind of makes it difficult to stand uh foot pegs underneath there and that's what she looks like from the side. So she, you can see that she does have that um, wrist communicator on her sleeve there like the original one did. And you can see her legs, uh, her boots are on a bit of a platform. 
So you can see that there, turn that over to the back. That's what she looks like from the back as well. So that's what we get from Princess Leia from the Power of the Force 2 collection in 1998. So it was a welcome addition to the line. One thing you'll notice right off the bat is the figure is very tall. So proportion wise in height, they didn't have that corrected yet, but they would get better and better as the line progressed. Now, we wouldn't see another Princess Leia until a little bit later that year. This time it's part of a cinema scene, so three packs, where they release figures and they put them in a specific scene from the movie. And Princess Leia came with Chewbacca and Han Solo, and it was from the Minoc hunt. And they came with the breathing apparatuses on their face. That's this one over here. So you can see it's very similar to the other figure, but it is different as well. Uh, you, I can tell you for a fact that this arm is different over here. The arm is spread out further, uh, as well as the feet. The feet are a little bit closer together, and the paint job on the character is a little bit different as well. She has more of a weathered paint job. Uh, I love the breathing apparatuses because every single one of them came with their own unique one. She has it as well, and you can take that off just to show you what she looks like underneath. So that's what Princess Leia looks like underneath there. And I think I may have gotten a little bit of, yeah, there we go little bit of dirt under her chin. So that's what she looks like there. You can see she's got the paint job on this one is a little bit better than the, the single release. She does have her jacket on. Most, it reuses a lot of the same parts, same articulation on the figure. Uh, from the side, you'll notice that they didn't paint that wrist communicator that she has on the other figure that's not painted on there. And the boots are a slight lighter gray. And then that's what she looks like from the back. Uh, I'll show you a comparison as well with the other figure. Let's bring them together just so we can see that as well and you can see she's got a more um, flesh colored tone to her face and the eyes are a little bit more detailed paint wise but you can see that the arms sculpted out so it's a different different sculpt on the arms and of course the legs as well uh, the left leg in particular looks like it's a different sculpt as well so that's what we get from um, Princess Leia 98 in the Hoth outfit. And I just want to show you the breathing apparatus as well. Bring that up close just so you can have a look at it. So it's got a nice paint job, nice detail. This part's translucent over here. And there's the bottom, you know, breathing apparatus part. And there's the part that goes over her head. And of course, it's exclusive to her head because it's a smaller uh, strap on there from the one that comes with Han Solo and Chewbacca. And it easily just fits over her head. And you just bring that breathing apparatus down like that over her mouth and you can see you get a pretty good movie accurate sculpt. I love this figure just for that reason. Okay. So that's what we get in 98 and we wouldn't get another princess Leia in Hoth outfit until 2003. Now I don't have that figure here. It's worth mentioning. It is a kit bash figure. It was in a battle of Hoth four pack. So it was basically, I'll throw a picture up. It's basically the best men escape Leia from the power of the Jedi line. And they took the vest off of the Hoth Leia from the Power of the Force 2 line, threw it over that figure and called her another version of Hoth Leia. So that's the one there, prominent to talk about just because that was available. And we wouldn't see another one of Princess Leia on her Hoth outfit until 2008. So in 2008, part of the Legacy Collection, comic back, we'd get a new Princess Leia or a new painted version of Princess Leia with Toby Dalla, one of the Mandalorian bounty hunters. So that's this one over here. I miss these comic packs because they're very unique. You get unique figures out of them. So you get Toby Dalla over here. Hopefully I'm pronouncing his name right. And then you get another version of Princess Leia in her Hoth outfit. It's basically the one that we know from Power of the Force 2. So it's not the updated one. But you can see she's got a holster added to her as well. And she's got a very bright white paint job to give it a more comic book feel. But nonetheless, it's a worthy addition figure to talk about. So that's what the packaging looks like for that one. And I'm just going to flip it around to the back just so you can see what that looks like as well. And if you love expanded universe figures, you're probably going to drool just by seeing uh, the new ones that are showing in here. So there's a picture of Toby Dalla without the helmet on. And Princess Leia in her Hoth outfit. And of course, the other sets that were available there as well. So you can have a look at that too. And that's what we got in 2008 from the Legacy Collection. So we wouldn't see another Princess Leia for a couple more years. This time as part of the Vintage Collection. With the Vintage Collection, we'd get Princess Leia in her Hoth outfit. It's this one over here. 
on Vintage Card Back, finally. So when the line finally came out, Vintage Collection, that she was one of the first ones that got released, and she, you can see she comes out an Empire Strikes Back card back with a nice, you know, movie picture over here, and then there she is in packaging. Uh, she just came with her blaster only, okay? But it's an updated sculpt. We'll look at it in, loose in a second just to show you what that looks like. So that's what she looks like in packaging. We'll bring it up close so you can see what the face sculpt looked like on these figures when they first released. So she's got a very pale complexion to her skin, but it's a very, very nice figure. It's very detailed and lots of articulation. And if we flip that around to the back, we can see the original release figure, what she looked like. They used to put these on the back to show you the original release if they had an original release, and then the new one, of course. And then there's the other figures that were also available at the time. An Empire version of Vader, Dengar, Vespin Luke, of course, Hoth Leia, and then Han Solo in one of his many outfits as well from Bespin, from uh, Hoth. So that's what we get there. That's Vintage Collection. Number two, I didn't show you that. Let's pull that up over here as well. VCO2. Okay, let's put her back here and let's just have a look at what that figure looks like loose. So the loose version of that figure that I have, which came out in 2019 with updated photo reel tech is this one here, but it's exactly the same sculpt. Um, where some of the figures didn't get a nice updated look because of it, like Bespin Luke didn't get a really good updated look on his face, nor did Lando, but Bespin Han and Hoth Leia both got a nice updated look to their face, even the Luke Skywalker that came with the Jedi Knight Luke. So that's what she looks like. Close up there so you can see it's a very nice likeness of a young Carrie Fisher. Uh, very, very great detail. You can't believe that these figures are only three, three quarter inches tall because the detail is phenomenal on them. Uh, articulation wise, she has ball joints at the shoulder. So I can bring that up just to show you there. She has it at the elbow as well. Okay. You can turn her wrist as well with her tiny little hands. Okay. She does have a jacket on, a vest on. So if you look under her vest, you can see she's got her outfit from, um, the Bespin Escape afterwards, and you can turn her there at the waist, side to side, a small figure. Uh, you can see over here she does have articulation at the waist, so you can move her leg up, you can bend her knee, okay? Nothing at the ankles, just so you know. There's nothing at the ankles on these figures, because she's very small. They decided to omit that part, the same articulation on this leg. And if you look at this arm over here, you can see that she does have that communicator painted on there. Even the fine details of little red buttons are painted on. And then as well on the chest over here, the insignia and stuff, that's all painted as well. Okay, so that's what Princess Leia looks like from the side in her Hoth outfit. And that's what she looks like from the back as well. So you can see that vest is nicely detailed all the way around. And again, definitive figure. So it doesn't get any better than this when it comes to Princess Leia. We've, we're complete on that figure. If we're ever going to finish the 96 original figures this one is done it was really nice that they re-released her because i love the scan technology on the face i'm going to bring the other one up close as well just so i can give you a comparison side by side so there's the original release and then there's the updated scan technology release and you can see the detail you can see she's got more flesh color on her face on the new one and you can also see the update in the colors on the outfit as well so a worthy re-release and anybody that never was able to get that original one can now and we can go from there. So we looked at the vintage collection Princess Leia from 2010 and her re-release from 2019. But we also want to bring up one more figure that came out from the Solo movie in 2018. It says a single release, Princess Leia as well in Hoth outfit. In my opinion, this is probably the most realistic best sculpt that we had of Princess Leia to date. Even though the vintage one is complete because it has that full articulation, this figure is definitely a worthy addition. You can see the detail that went into it, sculpt-wise. Uh, Proportion-wise, the Princess Leia is perfect. I know the face sculpt is probably better on the Vintage Collection re-release than on this one, but this one comes out pretty darn close as well. Let's put them side by side just to have a look there, see if I can get it without any shadowing so you can see what the face sculpts look like. Okay, on the Princess Leia. So this one came as part of the Solo movie line. Release of figures. She wasn't in Solo, but they gave us some original trilogy figures. She's five points of articulation. She does have a ball on her head, so her head does come on a ball. 
Uh, the vest is a piece that's sculpted on, so there's no removing that vest on there, even though it looks like it does. Uh, arm articulation, of course, up and down. Same with the legs. The legs don't actually go up too far. It's as far as they go there. They get restricted by the vest and the way it's designed. But that's what she looks like from the front there. Okay, we turn her around to the side. You can see that they did paint on the insignia here, and they did paint on that communicator on her wrist there that's fully painted. You can see it's a really nice sculpt. And I had to pick it up as a solo uh, release just because it was such a nice version of Princess Leia, and you can, you know, put her in a display, and she definitely suits the... She, she definitely looks really good. Like, it's hard to explain detail-wise. It doesn't give it justice looking at her on camera. But if you had one of these in person, you'd see what I mean by the face sculpt is really well done. The paint job on the eyes is really well done on this figure. And it's a worthy addition if you weren't able to pick up the Vintage Collection one, if this is an alternative for your Hoth display, by all means, don't hold back from picking it up. So that's what we get from Princess Leia in her Hoth outfits. Uh, it's worth mentioning we did get her released again as part of the Retro Collection. So Hoth... The Retro Collection initially came out in 2019, and then in 2020 they made an Empire Strikes Back wave. It was a Walmart exclusive, super difficult to find. Wish it wasn't as hard to find. I got lucky I was able to get them online one day and not come damaged. They came in good condition, and that's her right here. It's a release of the original Princess Leia and Hoth outfit. So it comes, you know, on the original packaging uh, with that big giant Retro Collection sticker sticking right over the front and weathered card back and then you can see she comes with her weapon her blaster in there as well and it's a nice figure you can see it's a nice you know reproduction of that original princess leia figure so it definitely hits the bells as far as nostalgia and i had to pick it up let's flip it around over to the back so you can see what she looks like and there's the card art on the back there's not much to see there but you can see the other figures that are in this wave as well that came out as part of the 40th anniversary of empire strikes back so it wouldn't be a review complete without having some Black Series love. So they did get a Black Series release of Princess Leia and her Hoth outfit in 2018. I was ecstatic to get her because it's a, such a great sculpt. Let's bring it closer over here. This is, in my opinion, the most definitive sculpt. When you consider all the action figures that you can buy nowadays, and you can buy them in many different um, styles and many different distributors, how do you beat a figure that's 20 or $30 that has... Perfect face scan technology. Have a look at the sculpt there. I mean, it doesn't do it justice if you have it in person. It looks exactly like a young Carrie Fisher. Okay, has all the articulation you need. It's the right proportions. And you get it for 20 or 30 bucks when most everybody else for their high quality figures are charging, you know, $100 and up. So you can't go wrong with a Black Series. One of the reasons why it's so popular. So uh, standard articulation you expect here, you know, head on a ball. Okay. Okay. Um, ball joint here at the shoulders at the elbows okay wrist articulation on both sides you can see she turns at the waist as well so she's got a swivel here at the waist down here she's got a ball at the hips you can and then she can even rotate her legs there at uh, the thigh cut at the thighs you know bend at the knee at the ankle as well so full articulation on princess leia and that's what she looks like underneath she's got her foot pegs so she's definitely a welcome addition she was an exclusive GameStop exclusive over over here in Canada, EV Games, and that's where I picked her up. And then she also did come as part of a you know set with Han Solo Hoth set that was a San Diego Comic Con set. Uh, she did get re-released again as part of the 40th anniversary from Empire Strikes Back, and there she is. That's what she looks like complete. So that's all the Princess Leia and Hoth outfit figures I have. I hope you enjoyed the review. I really enjoy doing these reviews. I'd like to do more. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next journey. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.